Hello. 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 My name is Houston. And this is Media Mood Board. That's right. My name's Houston. This is Media Mood Board. This is a show about hyper-specific entertainment lists. This week, I'm profiling the New York Film Festival. While film festivals are highly curated, they're often difficult to find what movies you actually want to see. A lot of them have little to no marketing out at the time of the festival. That's what this video is for. The New York Film Fest has split everything up into four sections. The main slate, spotlight and revivals, and currents. This is the current section, the experimental programming of the show. If you're looking for the main slate or the spotlight and revivals, I've got the links to the other videos here. So the current section was maybe the most difficult to research. Even quote-unquote popular experimental films don't have that much marketing behind them. It's kind of against the whole thing. I compiled what was on the New York Film Fest website, as well as the websites of the artists and creators themselves, and then my own independent researches, podcasts, and things like that. So I'll do my best to describe these or why they're important, or why you might want to see them. Most of the current showings are three to five shorts that are grouped by theme. There are quite a few in here, and they aren't as engaging as seeing the videos that are with some of the other categories. So... Hang in there. If you're writing down which ones you want to see, let's go ahead and take out our phone and take some notes. Let's get into it. The Human Surge 3 is, as the name suggests, the third entry in Eduardo Williams' globe-trotting fiction on how people spend their downtime across the world. Shot entirely on a 360-degree camera with a very fluid script, the images and narratives clip and abstract in constant motion, attempting to tell a visceral story of our connection to each other. Allensworth is an experimental documentary of the town of Allensworth, California, founded in 1908 and established, run, and entirely financed by African Americans. The documentary consists of 12 static images, one for each month of the year, each shown for around five minutes. And yes, spoiler, this is one of the images. The time allows you to really search and feel each image. For instance, this image here of a tree where someone was once lynched. It's preceded by two of the director's shorts also made this year. Air Force Two, in which a scene from Air Force One is read deadpan over handheld footage of the Ohio State Reformatory where the scene was being quoted was shot. And Boyd vs. Ditton, a further study of the same reformatory, this time filming its interiors into abstraction. The feeling that the time for doing something is past is an autobio-adjacent dark comedy from director Joanna Arrow about a detached Brooklynite in an on-again, off-again BDSM relationship. It's preceded by a short of two people making small talk at a bar for 10 minutes. Inside the Yellow Cocoon Shell is a slow cinema drama about a man who travels back to his hometown after his sister-in-law dies in a car accident, where he wrestles with his agnosticism when surrounded by the religion around him. Full of drifting cameras through complex shots, it won the camera de or for best film at this year's can. Last Things tells the story of evolution and extinction from the point of view of rocks, where humans disappear but life endures, inspired by early sci-fi novellas and studies of cave microbes. It tries to imagine a narrative detached from mankind. It is to be preceded by Labyrinth Sequences, a 3D film where the viewer attempts and has to restart a hedge maze multiple times, only for further layers to be revealed. Mambar Period is a narrative fiction shot like a documentary about the owner of a hair salon's daily life trying to pay off debt, raise children, and run her business. The Night Visitors is an experimental documentary and video essay exploring morality, the limits of knowledge, and life through moths. It's preceded by the short When We Encounter the World, a conceptual narrative piece in which we watch a film meant to be shown to a self-regulating society of children as a teaching tool. Nowhere near is a, quote, psychogeographical journey through the director's life, a collage-like experimental autobio. The Prince is called an anti-realist drama by its director and tells the story of a gardening apprentice, the three men training him, and all of their sexual relationships, told almost entirely through overlapping narration. Winner of the prize for Best French Language Film in the Director's Fortnite section of the 2023 Cannes Film Festival. This next section is a trio of films under the banner Jean-Luc Godard, Wang Bing, and Pedro Costa. It includes trailer of a film that will never exist, Phony Wars. It's Goddard's collage of paper, paintings, and photographs, as well as narration, which he created while planning the feature that he died making. Man in Black is Wang Bing's documentary about one of China's leading classical composers. The composer is 86 years old and is filmed nude as he walks around a theater, his own compositions and narrations fighting for dominance of sound. And The Daughters of Fire, which is a triptych of images all set in one widescreen frame following three women separated after a volcano. 
Mango Steen plus We Don't Talk Like We Used To is a programming block containing the two named shorts. Mango Steen is a drama shot on early 2000s era SD cameras about a man embarking on a journey to understand the nature of stories and the future. We Don't Talk Like We Used To is a diary film described as, quote, part travelogue, part effective almanac, and part cinematic noise show. The next couple of entries will be bundles of shorts, all centered around a theme. Current's program one is Surface Tension. Abattoir USA is a tour of a 3D rendered abattoir full of both hyperrealistic and non Euclidean details. Mercurial Currents is a mix of documentary and sci fi about two stories an alien bubble haunting the Buenos Aires Stock Exchange and the director trying to locate a missing photo of their father. Sensitive Content is a collection of videos flagged to have sensitive content on social media. Moving Along Image tells the story of a filmmaker seeing a tattoo of one of his relatives on the arm of a Ukrainian soldier, and then his attempts to find the man with the tattoo. Nameless Syndrome is a deconstructed medical procedural in which the alienation between doctor and female patients is shown through a series of medical procedures. As we move into the second's current program, I just want to mention real quick that pretty much everything so far has been fairly easily explained at least from a plot perspective as we move forward due to the nature of experimental film some of these things are visceral or gut feel or something you experience rather than something to be explained so some of these descriptions may be rather short anyways let's move on to current's program number two stranger than paradise Alive from the Clouds is a collage of CG, 16mm footage of a bingo hall, and stage sequences of a grocery store to tell the story of four women in the director's Japanese-American family. Shrooms is a field recording heavy doc about a breeder of carrier pigeons looking for psychedelic mushrooms and praising their benefits along the way. Far and Near collages and distorts inkjet prints of images from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope into images evoking 15th century paintings. Slow Shift is a narrative film with a mix of observational and stage footage based around the ruins of a 14th century city. The Moon Will Contain Us points the camera at the local teens of a small coastal village on the brink of collapse, and the filmmaker asks them to make up stories to tell. Current's program number three, Inside Out. Larry follows a recurring dog character in a world of hyperrealism and commercial CG in a series of bizarre looping images. Bold Eagle tells the story of a man who takes acid and sits with his cat in his room. It utilizes many digital techniques to break reality. Loophole utilizes the look of 90s legal thrillers to reenact the proceedings of an actual sexual assault case. False Wife is a collage of images set to automated speech of intrusive thoughts. Formally, it's based off pornographic masturbation guides. Sundown is an assemblage of images set to a stream of conscious narration. Current's program number four is titled Close Encounters. Intersection is a meditative symphony of interjections and ums set to rapid-fire edits of the shadows of a crosswalk. Mass Dell is a conversation between two Iranian women, punctuated by images both original and appropriated from Iranian cinema. Disappearances is an impressionistic diary film of a trip to the English countryside. If You Don't Watch the Way You Move is an assemblage of footage showing the recording studio of two hip-hop artists as they record a track over the John Cage composition from which the short takes its title. N'importe quoi for Brunhild is a collage documentary of the composer Brunhild Meyer using the collision of sound and image to tell this unconventional documentary. Spark from a Falling Star juxtaposes shots of grocery store parking lots and menacing dimly lit suburban roads with smooth digital renderings of Utopia. Current's program number five, Burden of Dreams. Dildo Tectonica tells the story of two 18th century recluses who are accused of sodomy by the Inquisition, and then begin constructing non-phallic ceramic dildos. And So It Came About, A Tale of Consequential Dormancy, is a folk horror retelling of Persephone's abduction by Hades, in which a threshold to the underworld has been found on the edge of a field, told through found object and stop animation. Created during the pandemic and inspired by COVID's origins being the mixing of the human and animal world. Coral uses an imaginary language to tell the story of a sleepless night during a lunar eclipse. Here's the official description from the website. The whales have swallowed the moon, and without the moon, people and animals and things have trouble digesting emotions. On this night, a family of strangers pass through a restaurant where their nightmares and dreams become more vivid. Nocturne for a Forest is a series of iconoclastic moments, such as a still life being interrupted by a person stuffing flowers into a plastic skull. The Rays of a Storm explores the significance of a 500-year-old tree, La Noche Triste, with a group of motorcyclists, as the frames of the short slowly begin to merge. The final program is Current's program number six, Site Specific. 
project is shot in standard def video and documents the current state of the International Trade Fair Complex in Lagos, Nigeria, now overgrown and flooded 46 years after its utopian debut. The Fist is a tactile doc about the first Guinness brewery outside of Ireland and the UK, profiling the social life of assembly labor. Ungentle shots linger over cruising spots. Inspired by spy thrillers, it views gay hookup meeting places through the lens of espionage storytelling. Narrated by Ben Wishaw. Well, congrats. You made it all the way through. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow Media Mood Board here or on our Letterboxd. If you're curious about more New York Film Fest offerings, go check out the other videos. I've created a letterbox list of all the New York Film Fest films with notes including the exact copy from the New York Film Fest website on my Letterboxd. I'll link that in the description below. I'll be back next week with another hyper-specific movie list. Once again, thank you for watching. I'm Houston. This is Media Mood Board. Bye!